Let's make it, as well as leaves, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. Come on! <laughs> some paper. <laughs> some paint. <laughs> and some paintbrushes and a glue stick. Whoa! <laughs> now, to make a leaf print picture, like this one here, take your green paper and start to paint a hedgehog's head. Paint a grey triangle, because this makes a great snout shape. Look, I've added some black fork shapes for the hedgehog's feet and blended in some brown paint to his snout. Now it's time for the fun bit. Let's put down some old paper or newspaper, as this can get a bit messy. Now we're going to take a leaf and turn it upside down so it's got the bumpy side facing up. And then we're going to paint some brown paint on top of it. Now, if we get some white paper and pick up our leaf very carefully and place it paint side down, you can push very gently on top of it. And when we pick it up, we get a leaf print. Wow, look at that! Now carry on doing this until you've covered your paper in prints. <laughs> then when the prints are dry, cut each leaf out. But be careful, because scissors are sharp. <laughs> Now we can give our hedgehog a body. We're going to stick the leaf prints down with glue, but make sure all the leaves are pointing outwards to look like the hedgehog's spikes. Let's do it. <laughs> Finally, finish off with some black paint and give your hedgehog two eyes and a nose. It's Harry the Hedgehog, printed with the leaves he loves to play in. <laughs> Keep it down, will you? I've only just woken up. Oh, sorry, Harry. You can choose different types of leaves and try some other ideas too. How about a stag? It's made by painting a stag's body and printing antlers with curvy leaves. Or even a lion, which is made by painting a lion's face and printing its mane with spiky leaves. <laughs> Add a fence along the top of the grass? And how about some clouds in the sky? 